More breaking news to report right now from Sandy Springs this time. The GBI investigating an officer involved shooting. Fox 5's Alexa Liaco has followed the story since we broke it this morning on Good Day Atlanta. Alexa, we just learned that the man who was shot has passed away. Yeah, unfortunately, the shooting has just become deadly. The GBI confirmed that the man involved has passed away. The GBI still on scene right now, along with Sandy Springs police in a section of Northwood Drive still blocked off even hours after the shooting took place. Police say it all unfolded when a man charged officers with a knife, forcing officers to open fire. Boom, boom, boom. And that's all I heard. Neighbors say gunshots startled them early Thursday morning outside of this Sandy Springs apartment complex. The call generated from an apartment here. Uh, I want to believe that somebody called regarding this person threatening suicide. Police responded just after 6 a.m. when neighbors say they saw a man carrying a large knife and heard him yelling threats about killing himself. Somebody that called me told me that they, um, Saw a guy running with a knife and stuff. Officers asked the man to put down the knife. Literally, as soon as he drove to this like destination right here where that cop is right now, I just started hearing like four gunshots. The subject ran at the officers. Officers gave him commands, stop, drop the knife, uh, did not comply with the commands. Officers say they were forced to fire their weapons. They shot the man and medics rushed him to a nearby hospital. Police say the man shot has a troubled history. We have found out that the subject does have a history of uh, mental issues and some drug and alcohol use as well. Now, Sandy Springs police have handed this over to the GBI to complete the investigation. The good news here, though, no officers were hurt in this encounter. Live in Sandy Springs, Alexa Liaco, Fox 5 News. Thank you so much, Alexa.